Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here finally with the YouTube earnings update for the month of December 2017. I will be comparing those stats to November 2017. And for those of you who are new to this series, I have been doing this for getting close to two years now. I let you guys know twice a month what my earnings are on YouTube and various stats so you can get a realistic idea of what it's like to earn money on YouTube. Let's just get started because this is the update where I also compare to a few years back so you can see how I was doing when I first started out. I do that uh, at the end of every month. So we are, like I said, looking at December 2017. For the month of December, I uploaded 39 videos. Oh, and the playlist link to this is down below in the description. It will also be in the comments and on the end screen. So please do go check it out. I uploaded 39 videos. Of those 39 videos, 26 were for my public YouTube. 13 were unlisted for my patrons. In November, I uploaded 43, and 11 of those were for patrons, and the rest, 43, 33, 32, were for YouTube. Subscribers, I gained a total of 1,421 subscribers for the month of December. That's not like where I was a couple of months ago, but I'm very happy with that, and it did go up. Um, I had in November 1,024. So at the end of December, I had a total of 34,838 subscribers. Some of you may remember that somewhere at the beginning of this year, I used to joke about like, oh, you know, let's see if I can get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I can't remember how many subscribers I had at the beginning of the year, so let me go check. I'll be right back. I see that at the beginning of the year, I had 8,276 total subscribers. I think that saying I wanted 50,000 by the end of the year was pretty much impossible, but I aimed for it, and I ended up with, what did I say? You know, almost 35,000 subscribers, so I think that's pretty good. I didn't really expect to get 50,000. I was really secretly hoping for 25,000, but by saying 50, I made it to 35. If I'd have said 25,000, I probably would have made it to 15. I don't know, you know, we just like to play mind games with ourselves like that. If you, if you set your goals too low, you're not likely to pass them because you've already convinced yourself that that's all you need. Why would you even try to get more? You're happy with that. That's what you said out loud. So say it out loud in big numbers. Okay, let's not get too chatty, okay? And yes, yesterday's shirt, and I'm okay with that. Views for December, I got a total of 270,117 of views. For November, it was, ooh, it was up higher, 314,328. So I haven't even compared yet. I'm doing that right now. Watch time for December was 1,931,000. 1,931. 1,200 minutes. Watch time for November was 2,096,964. So I'm down with that too. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Okay. Retention was 44% for November and 43% for December. So that's cool. Gender, the same. 14% boys, 86% girls. Shares. Uh, my shares went down also. In November, I had 1,265 shares, and in December, 1,024. My percent screen, no, that's wrong. My end screen, 2.62% of the elements that appeared on my end screen in November actually got clicked. For December, it's down to 2.51. Traffic sources, uh, pretty close to the same. My suggested videos for December was 55% of my traffic sources. The browse feature was 20%. Back in November, it was 54% suggested and 22% browse. I, 
I was happy to see that search was my number three traffic source. It's usually like way down there. So it was still only 4.8% of the people found my videos via search, but I was glad to see that it moved up the ladder a little bit. Uh, playlists, my videos appeared in 1,266 playlists in November. That was 4,382. My revenue, surprisingly, went up. I would think that with all these downward stats, I would have gone down, but you know how it goes. Um, in November, I earned $938.18, and for December, I made it to $1,035.61. Let's remember that December does have 31 days, so I got an extra day, because November only has 30, but I still, you know, would have made a little bit more if I was doing it on a 30-day basis, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, let's uh, get to the stats for previous years. I'm not going to include watch time and views like I was doing before because it's not really necessary and it's just saving me some time. I will let you know how many subscribers I had and the revenue. So one year ago, when my channel was just a little over two years old, I had a total of 8,258 subscribers and my revenue was $320.82. Now, if you have those stats written down, do know that that can change, especially the revenue, because when I do this video, the revenue can change and fluctuate until I actually get paid, so it, it changes. Two years ago, when my channel was a little over a year old, I had a total of 910 subscribers, and my revenue was $32.37 for the month. And three years ago, my channel was four months old, and I had a total of 170 subscribers, and my revenue was $11.86. Isn't that cute? I think it's cute. The countries. Do remember I mentioned the last time that I'm now doing countries by going to analytics demographics. I'm not using the, the demographics that come under the overview because, I don't know, they're wildly exaggerated. So, I had a total of 96 countries watch my videos, and usually I'm telling you like 190. I don't know what's up with the overview. They're including false countries. <laughs> U.S., U.K., Canada are always my top three. U.S. got 71% of the watch time. U.K., 8.2%. Canada, 6.3%. Australia, 2.8%. India, 1.2%. Germany, 0.7%. South Africa, 06 Sweden, 05 Netherlands, 05 And Malaysia, 04 And I noticed that Russia was in 11th place with 0.3. I don't know if I normally say Russia, so just, I probably have had Russia in the top 10. I just don't really remember. My bottom five countries were, and I think I can pronounce them all, sort of. <laughs> Fifth from last, Albania. Fourth from last, San Marino, or Marina? I don't know what I wrote. San Marie something. Third from last, Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's uh, that, I don't know that one. And I don't understand my writing, so I'm not looking it up. Let's go with Bosnia. Second from last, Cyprus. And in bottom place, Cambodia. And those countries got a total of 71 minutes to 154 minutes per country. It's a lot, I think. Okay, states, my top five states in the United States, because that's where I am. California is in first place with 8% of the watch time. Texas, 7.7%. Florida, 5.3%. Ohio, 4.6%. Michigan, 4.0%. Maine, my home state, is in 14th place. I didn't even see how much um, watch time, but 14th place. That sucks. Come on, Maine. Fifth from last is Wyoming. Fourth from last, South Dakota. Third from last, Delaware. 
second from last, Vermont, and dead last place, Alaska. And those states all got like 0.1% to 0.3% of the watch time. Okay, that's the stats. Now I'm going to mosey on over to the computer and show you guys like what videos earned what. You can see that we are looking at the stats for December 1st through the 31st, 2017. Already the numbers have dropped. I actually jotted down the earnings last night and I had 1035.61 and it's now 1031.82. I'm just leaving it as what it was when I when I wrote it down. And you'll see that, you know, it was a pretty crummy first two weeks. As a matter of fact, halfway through the month, I was only at $400.29. So I was kind of convinced that I was going to, you know, be lower than the month before, which was at 900 and something. But things picked up a little bit. Oh, my goodness. I had a couple days over 50, which, I mean, it was like some months that I had almost every day over 50. So I want that back. And let's go down and see what's earning. And it's Quilt As You Go is in the top two spots. Ooh, I'm psyched. My one hour rag quilt and one hour diagonal quilt are in third and fourth place. And those are fairly new videos. So that's cool that they earned a nice little chunk at the beginning. But no spikes for me. Not uh, lately. Not since August. I need a spike. All right, I will just uh, scroll down to the bottom and you can pause if you want to study anything. And then I want to show you just how you can see how many subscribers you had at any given point. What you want to do is go to your stats of lifetime. So for instance, this is how I figured out how many subscribers I had back in, what did I say, on January 1st, 2017. I'm going down to subscribers. Is it going to let me go down? Okay, so for my lifetime, you can see that my subscribers is this, that's how many I gained, that's how many I lost. But if I want to see how many I had uh, up to January 1st of last year, so like since the beginning of time up to then, you go to the little calendar, and I'm going to leave this the same, because this is when I started, I'm going to just change that to... 1117 and hit apply. So now it's going to tell me how much I had up to that point, which was 8,276. So that's how you can always check. If you want to know how many you had for your first six months, then you would just change the date and make it six months after, you know, when you started. All right, let's go back to the camera. I don't even know if I was recording when I was at my computer screen, so if not, <laughs> I will have to redo it and insert it before this. All right, that is all I have for you guys. I do want to tell you that I am seeing some improvement with the limited ad videos. That's the yellow dollar sign that almost everybody calls demonetized. That drives me crazy because demonetized is such a different thing. They're limited ads. They still can earn. They do earn YouTube Red. I don't know why. It just bothers me so much when people say demonetized because there's a whole other symbol for demonetized. Demonetized means you are not earning a dime on that and that YouTube has determined that video is not eligible for monetization, period. The yellow dollar sign is limited ads, and you can still earn. I actually have some that have earned. I can look back and say, oh yeah, those first two days where I had limited ads, I actually earned some pennies, so you are still earning something. It's just demonetized is just the wrong word for that. Um, anyway, I, out of my last maybe ten videos, probably... Hmm, I don't dare say half of them went through without getting the yellow. Maybe 7 out of 10, as opposed to all 10, got the yellow symbol. Of course, every one of them still passes review. But I have to remember to keep checking. Like, I haven't checked right now. I probably have one that I have to request a manual review. Well, let me go look.
I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple examples of what I mean. I'm doing some screenshots only so I could have this all on one page. I'm just going to move this down. This is the video I uploaded last night, and I do have to request a review. See the little yellow dollar sign? That means it's limited ads. So in my account, I will be clicking on request review, and I will request a review. And probably within 24 hours, I will have that video pass review, and it will have all the ads that my little heart desires. Now down here, these are the only two videos I have that are demonetized. Notice it's this kind of dollar sign with a line through it. Both of these videos I had radio on and you can't do that. Some people say, oh, if it's like less than 10 seconds or whatever, people have these you know, things they think they can get around. You can use the music all you want, but you will not be monetized. Even if it's three seconds of music, they can take the money away from you. They're not going to punish you. You're not going to lose your account, but it, um, it's a copyright infringement to have uh, music in your videos that you don't have permission to use. Plain and simple. I was not aware of this then. I mean, I was always aware of copyright infringement, but it never dawned on me that if I had the radio on, in this case, because Long Train Running was playing and I was dancing in my car, and this, I think I was just riding around with you and I had the radio on, so I lost monetization on that one too. But no big deal, and uh, I just make sure I never have the radio on. All right, back to the camera. I don't know if you noticed, but like the one now with the limited ads that I uploaded last night, it already has over 2,000 views. I checked it, uh, you know, like maybe 10 minutes after I uploaded it. Sometimes it's immediate. Sometimes before I even hit publish, it will come up as limited ads. But, uh, and I liked that better because then I could hit request review immediately. But now it doesn't happen immediately, so I forget to check. But I did check before I went to bed which was shortly after I uploaded, and I still had, you know, the full dollar sign, the green dollar sign, but now it's yellow. So I don't know, it could have turned yellow last night, so all night for this whole 2,000 views, probably had no ads or very limited ads, or I earned pennies on YouTube Red. But that's just the way it goes, folks. And it is getting better, I think. Knock on all kinds of wood, it's not every single video for me now. They're actually, you know, starting to uh, leave some not get flagged. And this has nothing to do with me or my content. This is across the board. It's happening to almost everyone. And some people don't even know it because they never even bother to check. And you don't get a notice. You have to go in and look. And uh, a lot of them, though, fix themselves without you even doing anything. But the best thing to do is if it happens to you is go ahead and do the manual review. Some of the tipsters that I watched said that step is very important so YouTube can get this all figured out. Because right now, it's a hot mess. All right, that is it for this video. And I will be back mid-January with an update for the first two weeks of January. I will tell you that so far, it sucks. The first two days of January are the lowest days I've had in forever. Not a happy camper. Let's hope that turns around. If not, it will turn around one of these days. Oh, but I think I was mentioning, Patreon is being very good to me. And, you know, it's really nice to have that outlet. Do go check it out. As a matter of fact, I will link down below to some of the titles that I have over on Patreon. One buck a month. That's, that's two. One buck a month gets you to see the majority of them. I'll have them split. You know, some of them you need the $3 level. You know, it's uh, a way that you can see all my content and uh, a way that I can still provide content without having to rely on YouTube. As much as I love YouTube, I also love paying my bills, so I have to do what's right for me first. I am not leaving YouTube, but I am expanding because I need to. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.